action. Hey everyone, I'm Coaster Cat and meow, meow. Can you please subscribe, please? Please, can you subscribe? I don't want to be bankrupt, please. Anyway, I'm Coaster Cat, aka Roller Coaster Ride. I'm Kay. How you doing? We're back with another Jesse review, <clears throat> and this one is episode three fourteen, entitled "Help Not Wanted." This episode had two main subplots: a Jesse sub, a Jesse and Emma subplot, and a Zuri, Luke, uh, Ravi, and to a certain degree Bertram B plot. The A plot is that Jesse is, um, is upset at the kids because they're spending too much money, including a colony on the moon where it's beachfront property because it's by the Sea of Tranquility. And <coughs> Zuri purchases a mummy because her with dolls, she's like, go big or go home. They then buy a gigantic, they then go, and she then, yeah. Jesse then finds a gigantic chicken, or rooster. In the living room by the staircase. Mm-hmm. And when she's like, what is this? They were like, what? We were out of, they were out of the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, then, uh, Jesse has to, has to raise money for her dad to get her, to get him a, uh, what is it? It's a barbecue grill and that's inflatable or something, <clears throat> or what? Or can, or aqua? It can turn into a barrel to save rainwater. Mm hmm Or something like then that. Then she wanted to give get blow up um, oven mitts. Like. Yeah, inflatable oven mitts. <coughs> so then, uh, Boomer, Emma's boss at the Empire Skate Building hears about it and says, you know what? Uh, we're looking for a we're looking for a new waitress, so go and apply. So she does apply, and that's when things kind of start going downhill in that case. That's when friction starts happening. Because that's when Emma becomes power hungry because Boomer puts her in charge. And that's when Jesse can't really handle it, so she also gets upset at her. Now the B plot, as I said, involves Luke, uh, Ravi, and Zuri, where because they are being because they've been cut off. Well, Luke and Luke and uh, Zuri have Ravi. I don't think has. Um, when they find out their allowance has been when Jesse cuts their allowance, they have to make money somehow. So they decide to start their own like babysitting service, saying Jesse is taking care of a bunch of kids. Um, as you can guess, it kind of turns into, how would you describe it? Animal House, but the kids version? Um, very unorganized. It, kids jumping on the couch. Kids running yeah. around. Tandem bike in there. Kids rolled Bertram <coughs> up in a rug and then unrolled him down the stairs. They covered and, uh, Robbie in stickers and glitter, I think. Yep. <laughs> that was Arts and Crafts. <laughs> but yeah, um, things just escalate and keep getting worse and worse, and that's when, Z and then Zuri and Luke realize just how tough uh, Jesse's job is. And then, going back to the A-plot, um, the main thing there is that there is a New York, New York City food uh, critic who's going to be there, and he's kind of a hippie, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. Not quite, hey man, what's up? But, you know, pretty close. A woodsy, a woodsy nature fella. No offense, woodsy nature fellas. No offense taken. You're not a woodsy nature fella. Anyway, uh, then, uh, but yeah, Emma keeps criticizing Jesse in terms of how she, uh, carries food, how she cleans, how she <coughs> doesn't butter toast, um, and various and various little things. And it comes to a head when the critic is sitting there. 
Yeah, he wants a veggie. <laughs> he wants a veggie burger, and Jesse makes a funny joke about like, "I'm from Texas. Nature tastes great in barbecue sauce." <laughs> yeah. Barbecue sauce or hickory sauce? Oh yeah, hickory. Hickory. I need to get. I need to order Texas barbecue next time I go to Texas. Okay. Um. Anyway. Where was I? Uh, okay, the critic, the critic orders a veggie burger. However, Emma and Emma and Jesse are arguing, and so she accidentally serves him instead of a veggie burger a dish rag, no, a, the dish rag a was, dirty dish rag. It was the lettuce on the burger. It was supposed, to, yeah. And then he puts ketchup on it. Because Emma, because Emma got it for him, but it was really hot sauce. Yep, he wanted ketchup, and it wasn't at the table. Yeah. So Emma took it off another table. And then mm -hmm. he walks off very angry, and so Boomer, and then Boomer notices, like, man, that customer looks angry. I'm glad he's gone before the critic gets here. And then when they tell him that that was the critic, he starts crying. Yep. And and they're like. Is do you think he's do you think he's gotten over it? And it's like, well, he's sobbing less. <laughs> they then find the they then find the food critic at a hot dog stand, and they basically apologize and beg for his forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And so, <coughs> how they were getting along and complimenting each other and mm -hmm. saying they were sorry and all that that kind of and how that time was going out. Was going out was going out of her break time or something. Yep. Meanwhile, back at the Ross house with uh, at the babysitting service, Jesse arrives and is like, "What the? What the is going on here?" Where it's a bunch of kids just screaming and going crazy, and then uh, they say like, "What are we supposed to do? You cut off our allowance," and they're like. And she was like, I don't know, hang out at your bowling alley or go-kart track? <laughs> I'd be okay with a bowling alley, you? Yeah, I think so. So watch all of our videos 19,000 times. Anyway, that wouldn't pay for a bowling alley. That would pay to have JJ reset pins. Or use her hands as pins. <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, um, so, uh, Jesse basically goes, goes ultimate nanny by whistling and saying, go to the, go to the screening room, like, you guys, like, you'd better be, you guys had better be, comp you guys had better be quiet and better not make a peep or I'll remove your ability to peep, <laughs> which is kind of so scary. So they orderly and went, but yeah. that's when a couple of them... Turn Bertram loose on the stairs in the road. Oh no no it was after. Yeah I know. Where he they roll him down this yeah they roll him down the stairs and he says I think I'm allergic to wall <laughs> and children. <laughs> um, at at that point Ravi has the biggest conscious conscious uh, conscience. And so he says, you know what, Jesse, take all of the money that we made from babysitting and use that to buy your dad a birthday present. And they were like, really? Can't we just apologize? And like, okay, we'll give you a, yeah, we'll, that's we'll a give you all side. of it. <clears throat> we'll give you all the money. Just don't hurt us. And then I'm not going to reveal what happens as the at the final scene, you know, the scene that airs during the credits. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say what happens. Okay. But, uh, the, the thing that happened with Jesse, um, that relates to a picture is probably something that affects a lot of people. Does it, has it ever, has that ever happened to you? I'm not sure. I'd have to think about it. You know what I'm talking about, right? Not really. <sighs> Talk about talk about your thoughts on it. And I'll I'm I'll write, I'm writing it down. I think it was okay. Um, you'll find out that I say okay, which means okay, fine. Um, I wouldn't put it at the top of my list, but you know what? If you're watching just Jesse shows, okay, this, this one picture, is better. The picture down you know? below. 
No, the one I wrote. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, I don't take very good ones either. Okay. <coughs> uh, what was your favorite line from the episode? Oh, I don't know. Um, mine was probably the Taylor Swift album, where it, well, yeah, it was either that or the Obama one, and I'll say both. Uh, the Taylor Swift one, where they said if you buy her album, you can get a jar of her tears. <laughs> yeah, Luke liked that, didn't he? That was, that'd be, I don't know if that'd be legal, but that'd be interesting. And the other one was when, uh, Boomer put Emma in charge, because he had to leave. She was like, this must be how Obama feels. Yep. Happy President's Day. There's no way we're not pre-recording this about a month in advance. Anyway. So, Kay, did you have, did you, were there any funny, funny parts that you liked? Um, not really. I thought it was all kind of funny here and there. Why did you nod your head during an audio review? I think Ravi, when he got stuck outside with all the kids, Oh, yeah. That was pretty cute. <coughs> and how Luke and uh, Zuri were like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> I could eat. <clears throat> um, so they wanted to leave him out there. Let's see. What else? Um, who do you think was this episode's MVP? Do you want to say Emma, or do you want to say Luke again, or Zuri? I'm not sure. I don't, if I were to, if I were to, I would probably say it's a tie. I would probably say maybe Emma, because this is the one where she has, like, she's kind of, like, the most matured, because she, in, in this one, in this episode, she had to do a lot of, she had to do responsibility, and, like, be yeah. a... Not be like some little kid, but like be a intelligent woman. Yep. Sounds good to me. Mm hmm So, uh, would you tell people to watch this episode? Yes. Like, to intentionally DVR it? Yes, if they can, get all of Jesse's. They seem pretty good. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because you haven't seen my least favorite. Oh. But you, but you also haven't seen my favorite. Well, and the thing is, too, is... Um, You've seen one of my favorites with Creepy Connie 3. Yeah. Still looking for Creepy Connie 2, but, yeah. It's not my fault Disney airs these out of order. That is fine. Nobody said it was your fault. I think you did. Anyway, uh, subscribe, 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 subscribe. I think you've said that enough. And tell everyone you know to subscribe, because, you know, I, I kind of need a thousand subscribers... Thanks, YouTube. Anyway, um, till we're, we'll be back with either another movie review or another Jesse review. Or maybe even another Disney or Nickelodeon TV show review. Wouldn't mm. that be awesome, Kay? Wow, you're just putting a lot of mystery out there. You know, we can watch like 50 episodes all in a weekend's worth. <laughs> wow, and not do anything else? Come on, I gotta eat, I gotta sleep. Yeah. Thumbs up. Anyway, until next time, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, until next time, I'm Coaster Cat, aka Roller Coaster Rider. And I'm Kay, and signing off. And I need a thousand subscribers so I can order some catnip. Okay. It's for my glaucoma. Bye. That's a Puss in Boots reference. Bye bye. Bye.